Hello, 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 hello. Dirty trucking, dirty trucking. About ready to get up out of here. I just got a disturbing uh, email from Uber where they're changing their policy on their vehicle rental uh, policy. Um, it used to be you would have to have 30 rides the minimum to keep the vehicle um, and there was no requirement on your five-star rating. Now, this explains why my five-star rating was dropping from 390. It would drop, then go back up, then it would drop and go back up. Uh, and I'm finding it odd. It's just hanging at the 390. It's never going past 390. It would get to 390, and then later on in the day, it's 389, and then the next day, it's 388. Then all of a sudden, it popped back up to 390. This has been going on day by day. A five-star rating that they says is evaluated weekly by the number of trips that seems to be changing daily by day. It's changing during the day while I'm driving, not weekly like they stated. So let me tell you what they've done. I don't know who came up with this idea, but they're about to lose a lot of drivers and you're about to lose a lot of money. And I could be wrapped up in the drivers that they lose. They have changed their rental policy to where you now have to have a minimum of 50 rides to keep the car and not 30. Which is good because I've heard a lot of them have been renting the cars and they have second jobs. And they would go do these little 30 trips just to get the lower rate for the rental car. And then they'll be going doing a full-time work at another job. So that's what's been going on with that. There's a lot of people that has other jobs and they were going getting these Uber rental cars and they were working their full-time job and then just doing the 30 trips to get the rental car at the Uber driver's rental rate. So now they've changed it from doing 30 rides a week to 50 rides a week to be able to keep the car. And now they are throw it in there that you have to have a driver rating of 4.90. You have to have 50 rides and 4.90. Now, your, from what I'm looking at, your five-star rating is anybody complain on it will drop your rating, and you haven't done anything. So now, if you are an Uber rental driver and utilize a rental program, you're going to be out of car because they didn't put the ratings in there, ratings that come from passengers that deliberately lie on you, and that ratings that I see that has been changing every day. And I have complained about that too. I'm stop. I'm not no longer will complain. If I end up caught up in their new policy, then that's how stupid their policy is. I worked seven days doing over, full time. I've been struggling to make money, and now you done made it more. It, 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 now you done come up with a policy to where it would cost me the rental car I'm utilizing to drive for you. It's not going to affect people who have their personal cars. I haven't been able to get a personal vehicle. Even through drive time, I tried to go get a personal vehicle twice. Sorry about it. It's hot in here. I don't have the AC on. And I don't keep it on when I'm here uh, during the day because I'm going to leave out. The window's open. That's it. Ain't nobody here. Ain't nobody need to be cooled off. So, they uh, if you got a personal vehicle, it doesn't affect you. But I was wondering why I wasn't able to get a personal vehicle. Even through drive time, where they guarantee through their website, whatever the price they add, they advertise, that's what you're supposed to be to get a car. But I've never been able to get a car through drive time. And I've, twi and I've tried twice. So Uber has set themselves up to lose a lot of drivers. Because I guarantee you, this is about to lose a lot of drivers. It's the amount of cars that they rent, I'm telling you, it took me, before I was able to get a car, I think I've tried almost two years to be able to get a rental car to come out of trucking. It took me that long. And I just happened to took a chance when they, uh, when I was with Road One and they let me go because of that, um, hazmat placing sticker issue over there, like a dummy they did. I was off. It was, the, it was the week before my birthday. All this shit happened to be before my birthday. They always do devastating shit when it's something you got to do. It's before my birthday. Sitting at home, no job, didn't know what I was going to fucking do. I'm not going back and trucking. Once I retire, I'm done. Because they did everything under the sun to keep me out of that industry. So 
I'm going to give you what you asked for. And plus, I'm tired of the industry. Long as these individuals that you got running that industry is still there, that industry, I will not be in that industry. And these individuals here making these decisions at Uber, you don't know what the fuck you've done. You know how hard it is to maintain a 4.90 driver's rating? I don't go around telling the passengers when they get out of the car, please don't forget to give me a five-star rating. I don't do that. I'm not going to beg you to rate me. I'm not going to do that. I remember when I used to be a writer, they were the they'll give me them five stars now. That's how they maintaining they rate. My rate is natural. I had a 4.90 and now it's down to, I think when I looked yesterday, it was 4.88. Changed in the same day. That's what I understand here. They get on the phone and tell you that your five-star rating changes per ride. The amount of rides you do. I think the amount of rides that they evaluate, I think they said it was 200, 200 or maybe a little over 200. For me to complete 200 rides, it takes at least almost, uh, shit, four, five days. Five days when I'm getting close to 200 rides. Because I do, if on a good day, I would do 32 rides in a day. Some Somewhere on a maximum, the highest I've ever done is like maybe 36 rides in a day. But that's those little short trips, them $4 trips that don't add up to nothing. Uh, but it add up in rides. But... I usually average 30 something rides a day here lately. This is, I'm not averaging that. Um, but what's going to happen here. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Uh, if you keep letting these people that's doing this shit, the over, you got over about to fuck themselves out of rental car money and they're about to lose a shitload of drivers. Not everybody out there has a 4.90. High as you get is five. I mean, for them to expect you to have a 4.90 is fucking ridiculous. For them to expect for you to have that. A 4.90. That's just 10 points off of the max. And they expect you to maintain that Every day, knowing that these riders get in the car, they lie, they tell stories, and, and it's affecting the driver's ratings deliberately. And the rating is changing during the day I'm logging in on the app. I'm on the app. I will come out and have a 4.90, and then later on in the day, when I happen to go look at something else or on the app, all of a sudden, I look and see it's 4.89, 4.88. Now I know what they're doing it for. It is Uber themselves doing that shit. It is their app that is doing it. Because you're not going to sit here and tell me that your star rating changes per so many rides. It is impossible for me to be doing 200 rides and I just started my day or in the middle of my day. And it is impossible to be telling me that your rating is changing every day. If you do it per 200 rides, that means if I hit 200 rides by Monday, you give me my, my evaluation changes. Then the next time I hit 200 rides, it changes again. But it's not. It's changing every day. And I'm telling you that. It is Uber's app. That has been changing my rating. And I proved it to you the day that I was here. And I was off those three weeks because of that issue. Because I didn't have a car. And I sat here. And I had been off three damn weeks. And all of a sudden I got a message from Uber. Telling me that a rider said I made them feel uncomfortable. And I hadn't been driving for three fucking weeks. So I'm telling you what's going to happen. Uh, oh, I'm not... Uh, the, the 50 rides is no problem because I do this full time but if Uber want to get rid of their drivers this is the way you finna do it you finna lose your drivers your partnership with Hertz is going to decline because now you have no riders that's needing rental cars that has that meets both criteria of 50 rides and the 4.90 that's a limited amount of drivers. 
that has that. Because I know for a fact they get in my my car and, and 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 it's like these people already know that Uber made that policy. It is Uber's been doing that. Now, Uber, you know, you want to get rid of me. This is the way to do it. You ain't got to play games. You ain't got to make it look like I did anything. You ain't got to lie and say as a writer with complaints coming in. But this is a way for a company to get rid of people. Why in the fuck would you include the driver's rate? I would see if the motherfucker had dropped down to some two point something. Yeah, from a five star rating. You you in the you under shit 3.5. Yeah. Okay. If you under 3.5, yeah, that calls for some questions. But then again, no, that calls for an investigation to look in why this rider rating is at 3.5. There needs to be an investigation of the complaints that has been coming in. The reason why this driver is at a 3.5. But see, that's the problem here at Uber. When you get a complaint, Uber don't tell you what the fuck they said. So we're at a disadvantage. We got to take their word that there was an actual complaint, a legitimate complaint, without them telling us about the complaint. So, I'm getting prepared to get out of here anyway. So, and this is just another incentive to give me, you know, they said that God, when he, wait a minute, shit, let me wipe my face, I'm sweating like crazy, hold on. Woo, told you, I don't keep the AC on when I get ready to leave out of here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to let you see. I'm going to let you see this. Because if I come back home and it's on, it's fucking off. What they say, off. <laughs> Nobody's here. Nobody needs to be cool. That's where I am. Okay. They told me that. You know, sometimes when you overstay your welcome in a job that you know has been treating you badly, doing things to you, um... Letting drive, cut passengers lie on you and took actions against you, interfering with you making your money, and you're a damn good driver out there. You provide a good service, an excellent service, and it's actually these riders. We're at a disadvantage. And that's another issue I'm going to bring up um, with the Senate. Uh, because these states are starting to complain about Uber deactivating their drivers and blocking them out of their accounts, uh, interfering with them making their livelihood. Uh, and these states has gotten involved and starting to complain about it and they're starting to do something about it. And they need to investigate the reason for it. They need to look into why Uber never tells the driver of what the passenger said. But you sent a message talking about they got in a complaint. But you don't never tell the driver what was said. So how do I know what was said? I'm supposed to take your word for it? You know, give what was said so I can know what passenger. So I can put my statement See, when you respond to them, it's like a blind statement. You don't know what the fuck you did because they don't tell you. And they have no business doing that damn shit. I was off my job several times. The reason why I'm behind in my bills, my rent is not being paid on time. Because of this company, let somebody lie and said that I inappropriately touched them and was talking sexual. And it was a fucking lie. Fucking lie. But you got the nerve to create a policy for your rental program that if you don't maintain a 4.90 five star rating and 50, 50 trips is acceptable. That is necessary because I've heard these people, these people been getting in the car questioning me, talking about they need to get to work and uh, they was going to just get a rental car and, uh, you know, use it and do the 30 trips and then going on to work, they full time job. So that's another reason people were not able to get cars. They're taking them, getting a the lower rate, and taking them, and they got a full-time job. Uber is not really a full-time job. Uber is my full-time job. And now you have just created the dumbest policy I've ever seen before in my life, where you got something in there where you included their five-star rating, which means you're about to lose a shitload of drivers. If, it, if the ricochet hasn't happened yet, it's about to start. And then it says in there that if... Um, you rented your car before they, uh, if this policy came in effect, you're not affected. But if you turn in your car 
and you don't have meet both criteria, you won't be able to get a car. So if I'm at a 4.89 or 4.88 and I do well over 200 trips a week, I do this full time in seven days. Their policy is that I'm not qualified to get a car. Who the fuck want to deal with a company doing that shit? You do shit that make people leave. You do shit to lose people who, who are cr contributing to your billion dollar company you made. Who the fuck came up with that idea? And I'm going to put a screenshot of that email message and... You know, stay tuned and see what happened. Because I told you. They told me that they evaluate your five-star rating yeah. every so many trips. If a bad one come in, it changes your rating. But you told me every so many trips. But it seems like you are making up bad ones because my rating is dropping every day. All of a sudden, I'm back up to 4.90. Then it went 4.89, 4.88. That's why it's been fluctuating. They fluctuated around the time when it's time to renew the rental. It's been fluctuating. I don't understand none of this shit. I don't want to be involved in it. I'm still struggling. To get my money every day. I come up there. Come out here every day. To make money. To an app that is doing weird shit. Seems to be luring me in certain areas. Seems to be controlling how much money I'm supposed to make in a day. And I've gotten tired of it. And now you have created a policy. That where if I don't maintain a 4.90. But I do the number of trips. I do well over the number of trips. If I turn in the car, I can't get no other car. Well, let, let's, let's see how far you go with that. Whoever made that policy was definitely, definitely trying to cost the company money because you found that you bought to lose. You know how many people are using rental cars? Do you know how many people are using rental cars? You can't get any. It's bad. You it took me years to get it. If I'd have known coming here, I was gonna be lied on, have my income affected, my housing in jeopardy, policies created to get rid of good drivers. Like they, what is? I don't understand. What the fuck? The trucking industry did that. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with these people you hire to make these policies? They make policies and do shit to get rid of your best drivers. That's what happened to me at Road One. That's what happened to me at Horizon. That's what happened to me over the road. You do shit to get rid of your best drivers. And then when somebody finally investigates, what happened, they look at you and tell you, this is one of our best drivers. How does she, why, what, what, why is she no longer here? But see, that portion comes after they done got rid of me. One of your best drivers. Drivers have to deal with a lot of shit out here, especially ride share drivers. Not every ride is going to be goddamn pleasant. You get guys jumping in the car, want to make inappropriate comments. I don't allow front seat riders. I had a group of three get in there. The guy was out of town. His, I guess that's his uh, sister's brother. It was three of them in the car. Caucasian. The guy, the, 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 there was two Caucasian and a, a black dude. Told him I don't have, I don't allow front seat riders. I don't have front seat riders. That's a safety issue. I, I just never have. My whole life since I've been driving. You don't sit up there with me. It just ain't going to happen. I tried it with Uber. Uncomfortable. I don't need nobody that close to me to attack me, to get at me, do anything. 
My purse is up there. Where the fuck I'm going to put my purse? I'm not a guy. I don't carry a wallet in my back pocket. I got a purse. I got shit I sit on the seat. Now, other drivers know it. But that's the dangers and risks you put yourself in. If you get at me, it's the back seat. I'm not going to have you sitting in arm's reach of me. It's just not going to happen. It's very uncomfortable with a stranger sitting up there in that passenger seat. And I don't know you. That's why I don't allow. And then after what they did, talking about somebody said I inappropriately touched him. Oh, I'm really. I said, hey, you're not getting in the front seat, period. They make up shit. They lie on these drivers. And now they've created a damn policy. <laughs> The, this finna get rid of quite a few of your drivers. Not everybody has a... Now, they go around. These guys will go around. To, I got a 4.95. I got a 5.0. How do you have that? It is impossible for you to maintain that score. And then I should have known something. It, those two Caucasian guys with the brother. They got in the car. And the, the, the black dude talking about, oh, what, you don't want to sit next to me? First of all, that is an incorrect statement. You're getting in my car. You will be sitting next to me. I won't be sitting next to you. First of all, that was an incorrect statement he made. Why he was making it, I don't know. And I don't like when they get in the car, head first, head in their face toward my face. Motherfucker, get your ass in there foot first, ass down, next foot. I don't like that shit. Because if your face come in the area of me where I'm feeling uncomfortable, I don't like that shit. Because I'm going to turn and look at you like you're fucking crazy. The fuck are you doing? Why are you getting in the car face first where your face is heading toward me? Don't get in the range of my body, period. Foot first, ass down, next foot, closed door. That's the way it go. But I'm tired. Road one and Horizon Freight had no legitimate reason to get rid of me, period. Period.